it's wait, sorry, I have to start it over. Um, one of the things that happened to me in preschool, what oh, not while I was in preschool, but when I was teaching preschool, I walked by these two little girls. Uh oh, I'm sorry, I keep turning this, not pausing this. Um, I walked by these two little girls once and they were talking about how they wanted to get married. And the one little girl said, you can't get married because if you get married to a girl, you'll go to jail. And I was, I was thinking, oh, she's heard that it's not legal. And in her mind, it, it means the same thing. It's not legal, which means it's criminal, which means it's evil, which means it's bad. Um, and, and so it seems like a small thing. But it isn't. It's the cause of so much hate. It's the cause of so much people that hate and people that hate us. It's also the cause of so much self-hate that we have to fucking dig through and claw fucking ways out of so we can finally like look in the mirror and start to learn our lo- start to learn to love ourselves. Two year, uh, two months ago, I was told this story about a soldier who was set on fire and burned to death because he was gay. After I read about that story. I started reading lots and lots of similar stories um, about people in the GLBT community that were killed in that same manner. I started reading about the countries in the world where that's still acceptable punishment. I started thinking about all those people. I've read way too many fucking stories, y'all, for my um, inclined towards being depressed mind. I've read, read way too many stories. I mean, I started thinking about their voices and their lost voices and what they might say from where they are. And this is where, the, uh, that's where this poem came from. The music for this poem was done by uh, Chris Perico. She's a folk singer out of Massachusetts. <clears throat> um, so anyway. It should pick up in a second. The night I was torn from the pages of their Bible and burned alive. My ashes came down like snow. And a girl who had never seen my face saw me falling from the sky and laid down on her back to make an angel in the powder of my bones. From heaven I watched her, though my eyes were still flame and my ribs were still blue. They didn't win, I whispered. As her arms built my wings, they didn't win. Look at that moon. It is a pebble in my hands. Tonight, I could skip it across that fog-drunk sea to their lashes accordion in the light. And all they know of hate is that it couldn't beat the love out of me. That when they dropped me to the grave, I fell like a bucket into a well and came up full, carving my lover's name into the skin of a weeping willow that had spent its entire life laughing at the rain. Hold me like a lantern, staircase my spine when they bring their children to my funeral, to scream faggot at my dust. Tell them I was born into this casket, but I wouldn't pull the splinters from my heart any more than Christ would pull the thorns from his crimson head. They can come a thousand times with their burning match and their gasoline, with their hungry laws and their empty mouths full of prayers to their God that greeted me at his gates with his throat full of trumpets and his tears full of shame as his trembling palms collected the cinder of his children's crime. I know what holy is. I know the soul is shaped like a bowl. I know the lies we try to fill it with and the spill to offer the orchards inside. But my lover's shoes were tied with guitar strings. And when I walked beside, there was a silo in my chest. There was a field full of sun. There was a river full of gold that we left to pick our sweethearts from the trees that kept uprooting to stones so the names of the dead would crumble into poems. Write me down like this. Say my ashes never made the news. Say the jury was full of shotguns and say the snow that fell on the tip of your tongue. Refuse to melt away. Say this to the kids hiding their heartbeats from their father's fists. I planted the garden of my kiss. I opened the night with my teeth. I loved so hard that when they press their ear to the track, the train they hear coming will still be my chest. A rumbling harpoon, a sky they cannot bury. Look at that moon. I am a pebble in her hand, a harmonica held to the mouth of the river 
where nothing ever burns.